Is this the emperor you've been looking for? Second time is the charm with Kabuki Studios' new Celestial Knights 2.0. This little guy right here obviously resembles some other famous large knights out there, aka the Emperor of Mankind. It comes clam packed in a kind of a retail type package with a UPC and everything ready to go. You could, in theory, pick this up and, you know, for sale on a store shelf or something like that but uh price wise you know it is uh, 55 euros so that's about 65 dollars right now us so not maybe not something you want hanging on a store shelf <laughs> definitely look good inside of a uh, uh display case at your local gaming store who knows sometimes people are looking for this this sort of thing now it is a little bit bigger it's 54 millimeter figure um which i guess is according to this 2.12 inches tall it is a urethane resin miniature, which really isn't that much different than urethane or polyurethane is kind of a wide variety of uh, resin material. There's actually um, breakaway glass, believe it or not. You know, when you see somebody get hit with a glass over their head in, in a movie, that's actually smashable urethane resin glass cast. <laughs> so you can do a lot with urethane resin, believe it or not. And this is the first time I think I've seen a miniature maybe the kabuki stuff always says urethane resin but uh specifically saying urethane resin right there um so that's kind of uh it's kind of cool to see you know always finding out more about this stuff here so we're gonna open it up and build this bad boy but first let's unbox it and show you the there it is all laid out let me adjust this light down boom okay so a couple of things real quick there was a little bit of damage uh one of these feathers kind of just just broke. I don't know whether it was because there wasn't foam packing in there. We saw with Forge World in the past that you really need some sort of foam packing in there uh, to protect it from, you know, travel and coming across the oceans, uh, things like that. So it was a little disappointing. Um, I don't think I could have avoided it, unfortunately, and it's way too small to glue on. So I'm hoping that this isn't one of the wings that's uh, extremely obvious, but I guess we'll find out here in a minute when we're put together. I mean, other than that, it's, you know, a great, there was a couple of air bubbles. I think there's this one right here. You can kind of see, but I mean, look at the detail work on here. It's pretty doggone, pretty doggone incredible if you ask me, like with all the feather work right there, uh, all the stuff around here, even the little trim going all the way around. It's just fantastic that's there's depth to it and everything like that now this i can fix this this is no big deal a little bit of Alejo plastic putty we'll tighten it right up there's a couple other little air bubbles right there so i guess they cast it like this and the air kind of comes up there um not a big deal that stuff's easily fixed but the small tiny piece is kind of breaking definitely uh puts a dampener on things but like i said we might be able to work around it there's the flaming sword that looks very well done. Uh, nice detail work there. It's not quite as big as I thought it would be, but it's probably in uh, contrast and in scale to uh, the rest of the miniature right there. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's see what else we got. So here's the body itself, which which is rather large once you compare it, and I'm sure we'll compare it here. In a minute, but grab a space room. So here's a primary space marine, just to give you an idea. So the 50 fill. 54 millimeter scale is definitely on point for sure. And just looking at all the detail work, I mean, it is very well detailed. Lots and lots of great little cuts and everything in here with all the feather work, all the fine detail work, some crazy ornate scale plate, some sort of right there. And that's pretty cool. Uh, some pouches, little eyes. The large clown face that seems to be yelling and or screaming. <laughs> I don't know if that's the Celestial Knight's face or not. And then, of course, it all terminates in the top there in a nice uh, regal eagle kind of type deal. Here is a one-piece standard to the arm that I think looks pretty good. Very well done. Nice feather work and everything like that. And everything is got a, has a square socket, so it all sockets together. In theory, this will all go together where well. Here is the head itself. Uh, again, very well done. I think it's coming through there in the video. Yep, that looks just great. 
Gonna look even better on the miniature here in a minute. Looks like this is the front. So that'll go across there. And I can't even Let's see. So the eagle. So it does have two two wings. I'm not sure which one got damaged, but I mean look at all that feather work and everything like that. When you compare it, you actually have where is it real quick? The most recent bird of a feather from Games Workshop. So here is uh, the Shade Spire Far Striders Eagle, which is a little bit bigger, but definitely not as detailed. Now remember, this is resin material, so it's going to be kind of a stretch to out detail resin with plastic, but definitely more... Uh, detailed on the resin right down to the beaks and everything like that so there's uh, that might not, that might be an unfair comparison to be quite honest <laughs> comparing resin to plastic like that but you get the idea definitely between the two materials right there um, and it looks like everything else slots together in a nice uh, 60 looks to be a 60 mil base here I'll go grab one just to make sure so uh, before I get started on that, let me show you where you can get your own if you're wondering how you can scoop up one of these. We'll show it to you on the website and give you a lots, lots more pretty pictures than this unpainted heap of resin. Okay, so kabukistudio.com, well it's kabuki-studio.com, we'll get you in here and they've got all sorts of uh, other miniatures on here. Here you can see their top sellers, Celestial Knight, Star Vixen, and Angel Knight as well. We've seen, we've reviewed all of these and the Celestial Knight 1.0 uh, before at some point here. Now, image-wise, you can get a way better idea there of how good the Celestial Knight looks. There's a better image as the two-headed eagles landing. That's going to be interesting. Okay, and then you can see all of the crazy detail work down in here. Those, uh, what do they call them? They start with a P. Pterodactyls. <laughs> it's not pterodactyl, but it sounds like uh, the old uh, Roman uh, leather armor kind of pieces that hang down. I forget exactly how to pronounce them, but uh, most folks are familiar with the appearance of the word at least. And then you've got the heraldry pad up here. Now the back is just spectacular. I mean, seeing that and knowing that that detail is all 100% paintable and you don't have to freehand it, uh, just is, is amazing in my opinion. Um, I can't wait to get in there and do some work on that. And then of course all the eagle uh, detail and everything up here. Even the sword looks great. I probably would have liked to see it. A little bit more burnt area on the end there where the flame is terminating. But uh, I mean, I think the rest of the paint job definitely goes up top. And there's the computer renders of it to give you a better idea of a little bit higher of a detail that's kind of impossible to see all that. It's it's a great looking miniature and it really kind of brings home the fact uh, that Kabuki not only goes back and fixes their miniatures and well not fixes but you know redesigns as technology advances they go back and they attempt to keep up with it as well there which is pretty cool to see you know companies going on and, and uh, going the extra effort and uh, doing that sort of thing and retiring out old miniatures. You know, I'm sure we're going to see it with some other uh, companies here at some point uh, in the near future as technology continues to advance. All right, let's get back to our Celestial Knight and get this thing all assembled up. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I was... Whew, that was a really fun build uh, for the Celestial Knight, a.k.a. the Emperor of Mankind. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, so all the square pegs go together pretty well. I did discover another uh, little air bubble right there, but nothing too bad. Uh, we can fix that with some plastic putty uh, for sure. Now, from this angle, you'll notice a big hole, but that's actually supposed to be there on its lightning claw because that's where the eagle goes. But you don't have to put the eagle on there. You could just, uh, kind of the same thing, fill it up with Vallejo plastic putty. I'm not going to try to force it in there. I think I... I think I need to trim it down a little bit more, but it looks to be removable. I didn't want to fiddle with it right now until I got some more stuff glued down. I didn't glue everything down to be permanent just so uh, I could leave parts off in assembly in order to paint it. So that's pretty much, you know, the option here is you can 
put the eagle on or take the eagle off. Now, there is kind of a lot of, you know, a little bit of dead space up here if you leave them off, you know what I'm saying? Like, it almost looks, because of the shoulder pad on his right, it almost looks like there's supposed to be something over here. So that's the way it's sculpted, but you could leave it off. It just looks a little blank over here. You'd have to put um, maybe something more right here, but I didn't glue the head down and you can get a better idea of the head right there. It's magnificently sculpted right there as well. And look at that flaming sword. It's perfect to scale with the miniature. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Like I said, no big deal. And then you can see all the great detail work in here really coming together. A blue tack on his right foot just to keep him so we could maybe paint the base separate or put it on a different base and then I actually blue tacked the cape on as well because that's the only thing on here that's red so you would definitely want to try to paint that separate and I still have to fill some of those uh, gaps right there with those those little air bubbles with some uh, some plastic putty but I mean overall just an incredible miniature nonetheless what eagle, no eagle, whatever. So this is how it compares to some other miniatures out there you might be a little bit more familiar with. There's a Custody on the right, a little work in progress Custody from my collection. And you can kind of see definitely about the right scale if you did want to use him as the Emperor of Mankind. Normal Space Marine, pew, 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 pew. Well, he's a little guy, he's a little guy. <laughs> I guess that's to be expected. And then we showed you the Primaris earlier standing you know the new primary statue so i think overall you know once you consider that kits like this generally go for anywhere between 75 and 85 dollars from forge world uh for horse heresy character kits if you're trying to make this your emperor model your de facto your accounts as uh it's good value at 55 euros or about 65 dollars here now us uh, price right there and I think it's just as well sculpted as some of the stuff that we've seen out of Nottingham as well. But except for, you know, it's coming out of Italy. <laughs> and like I said, they keep going back, redesigning, reworking, keeping up with technology and stuff and such. So who knows? Maybe there'll be a bigger and better version out in five years from now. So 10 years from now, who knows? Maybe we'll just be playing with holograms by then. I don't know. But either way, I think uh, Kabuki has it going on. But just like any other resin miniature, you will have to do a little bit of work sometimes to fill air bubbles and there might be a little bit of breakage. Uh, I've never personally had to deal with a breakage issue from Kabuki. I've dealt with some customer service issues before and they always got fixed. So I would assume that you should have no issues should you order something like this and it comes with a part. But either way, make sure you check in with them first if you do happen to have an issue. And of course, like you saw on their website, they have all sorts of other celestial knights as well including one with angel wings i wonder what i wonder what that's supposed to be <laughs> oh doggone it okay so that's it for this one folks i hope you enjoyed our unboxing and build of kabuki studio celestial knight 2.0 if you like these type of features here on this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos